We will not allow coup after coup to press Africa as a prisoner. Is Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu a puppet for France? As the prospects of war seem to cloud the horizon in West Africa due to the standoff between ECOWAS and the military junta in Niger, one of the questions that continuously plagues the mind of every observer is, what is ECOWAS, led by its chairman, President Tinubu, truly fighting for? Are they sincerely trying to restore so-called democracy, or are they just puppets in the hands of neo-colonialist France? After the military took over in Niger, ECOWAS gave them one week to reinstate ousted President Mohamed Bazoum or face potential use of force. The ultimatum, however, passed without the coup leaders showing any sign of submitting to ECOWAS demands, despite the numerous sanctions imposed on the country by the bloc and the international community. In response to the defiance by the military junta, the regional bloc decided to hold an emergency meeting to decide the way forward. During this meeting, ECOWAS chairman and Nigerian president, Bola Tinubu, described the ongoing political crisis in the Niger Republic as a threat to the stability of other Western African countries. To show that they were indeed serious about their threat of using force to restore democracy, one of the decisions made was to deploy a standby force in Niger. While this decision by ECOWAS has been applauded by France and the USA, many in Africa have protested and are firmly against it. The Amilcar Cabral movement SSM, is one of the groups that have protested the decision by ECOWAS. Reacting to the position of the ECOWAS heads of state, the SS movement stated that the crisis in the Niger Republic should be properly understood as a part of the unresolved questions of the independence struggle and the decolonization process in Africa. The group urged the ECOWAS heads of state to allow Niger to solve its issues internally, warning the West African regional body not to wage war against Niger. It also said such a military intervention would serve the imperialist interests of the United States of America and France. They also questioned the authority of the regional bloc to retire democracy, stating, who are the ECOWAS heads of state who want to restore the so-called democracy in the Niger Republic? What are their credentials other than being puppets for the governments of the US and France that are holding their various territories in ECOWAS in bondage for imperialist exploitation and dominance? What do they have to show for their misrule other than frauds, treasury looting, violence against dissenting voices, imposition of IMF World Bank policies, hardships and sufferings of the majority of the people in Nigeria, Ghana, Togo, and Benin Republic? Another group, the West African People's Organization, WAPO, has also vehemently opposed the decision of ECOWAS. In a statement released on August 2, WAPO stated that the decision of ECOWAS is to maneuver by colonial France and Great Britain, under the hegemony of American imperialism, to resort to armed intervention under the guise of restoring democracy and human rights in Niger. They warned that the real purpose was to keep Niger continually in the imperialist fold and described the ousted President Bazoum as servile to the imperialist powers of NATO, particularly France, which for decades has plundered its uranium. In another statement released by Kwesi Pratt, General Secretary of the Socialist Movement of Ghana, SMG, he warned that a sub-regional war will destroy millions of lives and hamper production of goods and services with severe ramifications for the entire continent. Questioning the moral standing of the ECOWAS leaders to invade Niger, the statement added, our leaders have not raised concern about the squalor, lack of basic amenities, or exposure of children to deadly radiation that the French capital imposes on the inhabitants of uranium mining towns. Our leaders have not protested the number of innocent citizens killed by US and French troops in their so-called counterinsurgency operations. Rather, our leaders have forced through laws granting US troops full immunity for crimes committed on our soils, essentially ceding our sovereignty to foreign militaries. Now, while France and the USA have applauded and seemingly backed ECOWAS in their decision, Till today the American government has not designated what happened in Niger as a military coup because if it did, the US government, as expected by its law, would have ceased all military assistance, technical support, and diplomatic relations. Also, 
The French government has not stated in clear terms how many troops they would support ECOWAS with for their supposed military intervention, instead, they are even evacuating their people. This means that if they end up going to war, it would be soldiers from Nigeria, Ghana, and those African countries who would fight with soldiers from Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso. The fact that the ECOWAS community does not see how devastating it is that their threat of force to restore democracy will lead to Africans fighting Africans is truly baffling. How disastrous will that be for the African continent? This is why Femi Fani Kaode, a former minister of Nigeria, said, if ECOWAS must go into Niger in the name of wanting to restore constitutional order, so be it, but let the body do so without any Nigerian troops. Let the French and their Francophone allies in our sub-region, with American intelligence and logistical support, do the job on their own and leave us out of it. It is only if our nation is attacked or our sovereignty is violated that we should get into the fray. Clearly, there are other paths to restoring democracy in Niger, so why resort to violence that would not only destabilize Niger but also West Africa? Can ECOWAS manage the consequences of the war in the region? Definitely not. So, why push for the use of force to reinstate an ally of France? If they were truly so democratic conscious, why didn't they use force to restore democracy to Burkina Faso, Mali, Guinea, and even Chad? It seems that everyone except ECOWAS knows that they are just puppets in the hands of the West, most especially France, which wants to have continued dominance in Africa. Or maybe they know, but they don't care. Everybody has accepted Abraham Lincoln's definition of democracy, which is the government of the people, by the people, for the people, and so, whose interest is President Tinubu and ECOWAS championing, if Nigerians do not support your decision to go to war, and neither do the people of Niger appreciate your so-called help in restoring them to democracy. At this point, ECOWAS has two choices, go ahead with the war, leading to destabilization in the region and remain an ally of the West, or focus on restoring democracy without war, thereby causing France and probably the USA to lose their foothold in the country. Which will they choose? What are your thoughts? Do leave your comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.